Well, people, this is it. The last part of Obi-Wan's path and the last part of the Revenge of the Sith playthrough overall. So, welcome. So now, we are going back to Coruscant, to the Jedi Temple. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Get rid of him. You forget who is the general here. Shoot him! Who could be behind all this? Master Kenobi! Master Yoda, are you alright? Yes, I am. My clones have turned on me, as have mine, and the Jedi Distress Beacon has been activated. If other Jedi receive this signal, they, they too will fall into the trap and be killed. Then shut it down we must. I will go to the control and shut it down. A Jedi strength flows from the Force. Okay, so now we're in the Jedi Temple. Except we're not fighting Jedi, we're fighting clone troopers. Huh, someone's... And the yellow ones, they got grenade launchers. Okay, so... The orange... The orange striped clone troopers, they got... Like a... It's like a machine gun. Your lightsaber won't even... Deflect Ector bullets either, so be careful. Okay, so I was watching a movie last night, The Iron Claw, and boy, that movie was good. That movie was robbed of Oscar, so. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Damn. Another lost life. The yellow ones are mad annoying. Since, since these guys are, are grenadiers with, with their grenade launchers and all. Excellent. I mean, you can deflate the bullets, but they just won't. They just won't bounce back and, and won't fill your focus meter. That's what sucks. A 
assemble the entrance of the West Tower. Right away, sir. This should be easily taken care of. General Kodobi, drop your lightsaber. You're under arrest. I think not, Commander. It might not be so easy after all. Whenever he shows up with his grenades, that's when it's time to hit him. Pity won't be around to see me walk away, Commander. Master Yoda, I feel no Jedi are left alive. Terrible, this loss is. Killed not by clones, by a lightsaber they were. Who could have done this? Search your feelings, you must. One of us, a Jedi? To face the truth will cause you great pain. No, it can't be. Not Anakin. Oh man, that's a, a that's a really sad moment, right there. That that he discovers that that, that the young hero he mentored became a Sith Lord now. Skywalker, you must, Master Kenobi. Send me to kill the Emperor. I will not kill Anakin. Strong enough to face his Lord Sidious, you are not. Anakin's like my brother. I cannot do this. Twisted by the dark side, young Skywalker has become. The boy you trained, gone he is. Consumed by Darth Vader. I don't know where the Emperor has sent him. I don't know where to look. Use your feelings, Obi-Wan. Find him, you will. Yes, Master Yoda. May the Force be with you. Man, that's sad. So many Jedi dead. Luminara Andali, Barisafi, Kiabi Mundi, Kid Fisto. Isla Secura, Shakti.
it's really sad how how Obi Wan realized that 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 the young hero who, who he, he looked at as, as, a, as a younger brother, her, and he met in Episode One, turns out to be a Sith Lord. That sucks. And you know, it turns out that, that Yoda and, and the other Jedi were right about Anakin, in a way. That he, that the boy had a, that Anakin had a very dark future. Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon both believed in him. Because Obi-Wan wasn't an experienced Jedi Master, as I said before. That's how Palpatine managed to manipulate Anakin and bend him to his own will. Syndralic died. I need to find Anakin. He's in grave danger. From the Sith? From himself. Anakin has turned to the dark side. Then why are you looking for him? You're going to kill him, aren't you? He has become a very great threat. I don't believe you! I can't! Then I must leave. Padme. Anakin is a father, isn't he? I'm so sorry. Very tragic indeed. Okay, so now it's time to duel Anakin Skywalker. And of course, we all know what happened. So here comes a duel uh, between Anakin and Obi-Wan. Round one, round two isn't the TV series Obi-Wan Kenobi, and round three, A New Hope. And in every fight, we all know how that goes. There is no death, there is the Force. Anakin is, it, it is a lot more powerful in this one than Obi-Wan is.
Oh, he's, he, he made a flash kick. down into that moving platform. Force choke. Typical Sith weapon. And of course, now here comes that part like, uh, what's the matter with you? You were the chosen one. Okay, so this is um, Obi-Wan's ending right here. Master Yoda, I have Padme Amidala with me. She is hurt. I fear for her life. Bail Organa and I will go to Palus Massa. There you will meet us. Very well, Master. Obi-Wan brings Padme to Palus Massa where she gives birth to twin babies, Luke and Leia. Crushed by the truth of Anakin's true nature, Padme refuses to hold on to her life and dies shortly after her arrival. Obi-Wan learns to preserve his identity after death through Yoda and Qui-Gon Jinn. Terrible this conflict is, the pain is unbearable for some more than others. Each of us is given a different path. Hard to choose the right path is when destiny is already written. Indeed. Difficult to see the future is for the dark side clouds everything. A new Sith Lord has risen from the ashes to serve his dark master. The Emperor of the Galaxy, together they will rule for years to come. Until one day, a new hope will rise. The Rebellion. And that is it for Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, which is my favorite of the prequel trilogy. And I'm happy to have done this. So, everyone, I, before I close this, this, I remember when I first saw Revenge of the Sith on, on, on DVD, and I saw many of the deleted scenes, such as uh, the group of Padme, Mon Mothma, and, uh, and Bill Organa with a group of senators trying to form uh, a rebellion against Chancellor Palpatine. And, and also, Yoda's exile to Dagobah. Now, I don't understand to this day why they deleted that scene, the the scene where Yoda goes to Dagobah. It could have been a good addition in the movie. 
But anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will see you all next time.